Hello sewing friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials. But today I want to show you my sewing room tour. I organize like a bee and if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I will link Cass's channel right here in my description box below. Go to her channel after you watch my video and you can see what type of organizer you are. I'm a bee and or you might be a butterfly or a cricket or a ladybug. Find out what type you are and it'll make your organizing so much easier and you'll be so much more creative and organized in your space. So let's get started and I'll show you a tour of my sewing room. Okay, let's go into my sewing room. My daughter bought me this when I kept getting interrupted with my when I'm recording my videos. Here's my sewing room. This is my favorite thing of my sewing space is my bookshelf where I can hold all of my fabrics and I display them on paper plates from Dollar Tree. And over here I keep all my paints. I like to acrylic paint and also watercolor paint. So I keep all of my acrylic paints in these two containers here and I have all my art supplies on the back of the door all my paintbrushes and different art supplies and my aprons, different ones that I've made and some that people have gifted me. This one I made, I usually wear this one when I'm painting, let your creativity bloom. And then in here is where I keep my watercolor supplies, my jars for rinsing and my drawing supplies, and my sketchbook, and in here I keep my different watercolor papers. In here are some more watercolor supplies, my blow dryer and different supplies and my towels for cleanup. And then over here, I have more art supplies here, my scrap, my um, scrapbook journal, my collection of marbles, more watercolor paint in the back. And this is my collection of old gift cards I use for painting. I like to cut them and use these to make tree trunks and things like that, buildings. My, my colored pencil, and this is my watercolor supplies in here, my travel watercolor, and this watercolor, and these are my swatches I use to, to see what colors I have to use. And here's my markers and crayons. And this is a little basket of, of um, different little animals and fruit and things that I've made and hearts, little dolls. And this I saw at a thrift store, they had displayed their buttons. And so one day I was at a yard sale and I found this for $4 and I put some of my buttons in it. It's so fun, it looks like candy, I love it. Just love to dig through here and find some cool buttons. And that's a watercolor painting I did. And I just love these little jelly jars to hold little doodads. And down here is more art supplies. And then over here, I have my sewing thread. And these are my rag dolls I made. This is Bella Blue. And this was Aquafina holding her little bunny and her little doll. And you know I love the word love. Robin's love of sewing. I love hearts, I love pink and blue. This doll has all my favorite colors, the pink and the aqua blue are my favorite. And I just love that. And then down below that, I have some of my sewing and crafting books and embroidery thread, which I no longer have an embroidery sewing machine, but I still use it for other things. And here's a little bunny I made last Easter with a pocket with carrots. I have a, there's a video on my channel for that if you're interested. And down here, I love keeping everything in a notebook. I have all my Cricut scraps in here. I have a bunch of sewing patterns and ideas in there. My, my, my makeup bags and totes patterns are in here. My artist trading cards are in there and sewing patterns, clothes, dresses, tops, pants in there, craft patterns and things like that. So when I, I like to keep it where I can find it again in there. And down here I have all my magazines 
organized for when I do my, my bookmarks out of the magazines. These are my little sock bunnies I made and I have a video on my channel if you're interested in learning how to make these adorable little sock bunnies made out of one sock. And that's a little scrap pillow I made in the back. And of course, more love. You know, I love pink and the word love. And that's a stamp for my sewing channel, Robin's Love of Sewing. And down here is some more buttons. I have a ton of buttons. <laughs> and it's hard to get rid of them. I just love them so much. And there's a little heart I made a long time ago for Valentine's. And that's a heart I made last year for Valentine's with a pocket made out of an old quilt that had holes and stains on it. And I just turned it into that little heart. Love all these little heart buttons and these, I just love these little square buttons. They are so adorable. I used them on one of my quilts too. It's so pretty. And down here, guess what? More buttons. <laughs> you think I have enough buttons? But here I've separated them by color into, into these little jars. And these jars used to be candles and I, I cleaned out the candle the, from Dollar Tree. I had bought these years ago and then cleaned them out and put my buttons in here. I thought they made a cute display with all my buttons by colors. And these are cards that were turned into boxes. Aren't they cute? Like little greeting cards. And I just love that because it has the little robin on there. So cute. And down here in these baskets, I keep all my, my patterns for clothes. And I have them sorted by, by clothes for me and clothes for my grandkids. For children so that's where I keep my patterns and then over here I have more fabric and here I just have some more organizing things this is a pin cushion I made out of an old tuna fish can and this is a little bookmark I crocheted many years ago a little cross and some little other pin cushions I made. Did you guys ever play with this as a kid? I love this game. I love doing that. And a little mini art quilt that I made. More craft supplies and glue and things and more buttons <laughs> and more embroidery thread and more buttons. And then at the top of my bookshelf, I have some more decor. A little my Barbie doll and books and buttons and things like that and of course I have pink rose curtains and I just love those and I have my desk set up over here and over here is my printer and I keep all my printing supplies in here and paper in here and here's my serger I have a who's Farna Viking Husky Lock 936 and I love it it works great and I love using these clear shoe holders to hold all my supplies so I can see them of course as a bee I have to see my stuff or oh, forget I have it so I just have all kinds of little things in there and, and some pretty yarn and then over here I framed a sheet of magnet an 8 by 10 magnet sheet and these are all my dies I use for my Big Shot. And I love that they're on display so I can easily, if I wanna cut out a heart on paper or out of fabric, I can just grab it off of here and then put it back. And I have all these beautiful words that I can use to cut out. And I love these little praying, little boy and little girl, they're so sweet, I love. I use this for my grandson's first birthday when he turned one. And these, I can cut out little tags and little hearts. I just love having that where I can see it. It's a pretty display and practical. And this used to hold candles, like a little candle glass holder. I found it at a yard sale, but I just thought it would be perfect to hang all of my tape measures on. And I have that right here by my ironing station. I have this old metal chair. Remember these back in the day? I have that to hold my iron my iron because it's metal and it won't burn it and this is my ironing board which I love and I have a link in my description box if you want to buy this cover because I couldn't believe when I found this it's like a silicone so it doesn't burn or stain 
and it's so pretty. It sparkles. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on here, but it's so pretty. And of course, pink roses, my favorite. I couldn't believe when I found that because I got the ironing board at a yard sale for free. It was in a free pile. So I brought it home and cleaned it up and ordered this and I just love it. And it matches my curtains. And then over here is my cutting table. And I have drawers under here where I have projects that I'm gonna work on soon. Remember this fabric I bought last year at the Quilting Expo? I'm hoping to make a dress out of that soon. I just love that fabric. So I'm just keeping some things in here that I wanna work on or do a video on. These are more supplies. And that's an old bag I made. Like when I was first learning to sew, I made this bag, like a little diaper bag. I did these little scrappy flowers and a little bumblebee and hand stitched this little stitches on there. It's old and dirty now, but I just can't bring myself to throw it away. Cause I just love, I think I might just cut this off and frame the front of it. But um, let me open it and show you the inside. This is lined and has a zipper pocket inside more pockets on this side but it's all messed up on that side i had fun making that and i have a collection of those prayer cards i just love these you think i got enough i just love these prayer cards they're so pretty they're great for scrapbooking and and just framing in a frame i have a video in the past where i show you how i put these in a frame for gifts they're just so beautiful I love these. And over here under my cutting tables where I store all my cutting rulers and my pink toolbox. I love having my own toolbox so that way nobody else messes with it and I always have my tools if I need them for anything. And I, I have used this so much. It has come in so handy. And more cutting rulers down there. And this is a little rolling cart that I keep over here. I keep my extra supplies here and extra feet from my old sewing machine because it's it was a Husqvarna Viking also. So I keep that here. And this is my favorite Bible verse I have in my sewing room. God, let your beauty and favor be upon me. Confirm and establish the work of my hands. Psalm 9017. And I have a little extra light here that I use for doing close-up work and my chalk right there. And I love having this big light I use for filming so that everything comes out clear and bright. And this little tool I use for doing my overhead filming so that you guys can see what I'm doing. You have this little rolling cart with extra supplies. I use these for, for um, pattern weights in there. And chalk. And, and these for, for getting up lint and stuff off my cutting table and all my different tapes in there. You know, I like to use my, my painter's tape when I make my aprons to hold down the straps. And this is where I keep all my excess string when I cut them off, all my threads when I cut them off. One day I'm gonna do a project with that. Here is where I sew. Let me back up. And this is where I keep my sewing machine on an old desk that belonged to my daughter when she was little. This was her desk and now it's in my sewing room. And this is my sewing machine. I have a Viking Sapphire 965Q and I love the space I have here and this little table. And this is something I made when I was at a sewing class in Joann's years ago, we made this at American Sewing Guild. It's like a little trash can right here and it holds your little tools. And then this is a pin cushion that, that's Velcroed on and you can take it off and on if you need it. This is where I keep all my sewing needles and supplies in here. And this is where I keep all my bobbins and, and extra my um, walking foot and things like that. And this is where I put all my broken needles in here. I have a little hole in the top and I just keep them in here until it's full and then I throw it away so that way nobody gets hurt 
from those needles. And in here I keep all my turning tools. I love this. This is for um, going through um, like a hoodie. This I use a lot. I love this. This comes in so handy for pulling um, ribbon through a casing, things like that, or strap through a casing. Love that tool. So those are my turning tools. And this is my little va handy vacuum and things like that. And this is my scrap fabric for testing out my sewing machine and my other sewing feet in here. Keep that handy in a little post-it so I can write down things and extra glasses for seeing. And in here is my label maker and rechargeable batteries. And this is my cute little tin that holds all my little clips. And this is more clips quilting pans and rulers okay and then through here is my closet and this is much emptier than it used to be I used to have things stacked all in here and these are my my dress patterns and apron patterns and up here I have everything organized and labeled I have all my supplies to make a snippet roll and fabric for journal covers, my ribbons, flower projects. I have everything by categories and in a little kits and then just extra supplies like this. And my sock crafts, jewelry, toys for when my grandkids come over to play, and my tote bag handles and closures yarn fabric for my rag dolls craft show items journal supplies my little caboodles i love those i got them from dollar tree i use those for holding supplies and also for making my little um fabric fun friends little kits and cardstock and rubber stamps stuff to make my bookmarks and card making knit fabrics for hair bows and antique lace and gloves, my Rick Rack, my alcohol ink to make my plastic earrings, fusible web, tape, coaster, supplies, Velcro, elastic, bias tape, and my zippers all 12 inch and under, and those are nine inch, which I use for my makeup bags and 14 and above. And oh, this is lovely to have all this space to walk in. And I have my little step stool so I can reach the top. And then I have here all my Cricut supplies down here. I have um, all my Cricut vinyl here and in here. More Cricut vinyl down in there. And here I just have some extra frames. And this is stuff to be filed. And this is miscellaneous lights and things I use for decorating at my table and over here is my my paper cutter that I absolutely love I keep all my snaps in here some felt in here and this is my jewelry making kits in here to make my my kits that you put a picture in here like this one got ruined I did have my grandson in one of those and you put this stuff in it it's really fun to make and then my extra um, canvases for painting up there and this is a is a cutter's quilt this one has a lot of holes and tears in it I bought at a at a yard sale I'm going to use that one day and more cutter quilts in here and this is just tissue paper and these are some things that I've painted that I'm going to turn into cards I painted this a while back to turn these into cards and in here is just more excess fabric and some some little quilts that um quilt that I made and down here I keep my Cricut right here and extra supplies down here and the finished towels that I sew and these are towels to make into the oven towel holders and down here I keep all my heat and bond and wonder under and 
um, batting down there. So I'll step out and you can see the whole thing. I love that. And then on the back of the door, I have another clear shoe holder to hold all my scissors. These are all my fabric scissors and these are paper scissors and miscellaneous scissors and my rotary cutters and heavy duty scissors for cutting denim. So I have all those behind the door. My daughter painted these with watercolor and I have them framed here in my room. Just love those. Or I'll do a 360. Let me know in the comments when you take that test, what kind of organizer are you? Are you a bee like me or a cricket or a butterfly or a ladybug? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And just to give you a little sample of some of my watercolor paintings, this one I did with the little trees in the pond. This is the cherry blossoms. I'm very much a beginner, but I'm having fun learning. I love this one. I love the little pink flowers. I put them in these little, um, in the little photos, photo books from Dollar Tree. They, I, they fit my um, watercolors perfectly and I can keep them and, and see how I progress in, in learning how to watercolor paint. And I love these little flowers and the cute little watermelon. I learned these from a, a lot of different watercolor artists on um, YouTube. Here I was trying to do buildings with the credit card like, but it didn't quite come out. So it's kind of very abstract-ish, but I'm learning. Here's another one I did with the trees. And more to go. And there's a close-up flower and another flower. A little sample of my watercolor. Today I'm wearing my pretty pin tuck dress I made out of this quilting cotton fabric and it has pockets. I just love it. And you can find my pattern listed below in the description box. It has little pin tucks in the front. And here it is without the cardigan and it has pockets or you can make it without pockets and you can make it with knit fabric or cotton fabric. This is a quilting, simple quilting cotton that I just use for a house dress around the house. I love it, it's so comfy. And I love the pockets. I always have my phone in here and my chapstick and it's just very handy. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my sewing room. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.